When it comes to productivity apps, they come with teams of all shapes and sizes. So when a team of five reached out to me to look at their app AkiFlow, I was a little bit skeptical. How could a team of so few make a product that could compete with the mainstream companies like Notion, Todoist, and ClickUp? When I checked it out, however, I was pleasantly surprised by how great this application works and the functionality that it brings. In this video, I'm going to showcase how AkiFlow proves the fact that bigger isn't always better. If you're looking for an app that takes all the various parts of your workflow together regarding time and task management, then you're looking in the right place. I don't think it's too much to say that we may be looking at the next big app once the startup has time to build upon its already great Great infrastructure. So first and foremost, just looking at AkiFlow's website, they have a really nice one here, which it's just cool to see how many different integrations exist. There's 2000 plus integrations. This application has a lot of nice functionality for something who hasn't been around that long. They only have a team of five, as I mentioned earlier, and they were ranked number four on product hunt for product of the month. So if we look into the pricing very quickly here, we can see if we go into the monthly plan, it's $15 a month with a two week trial and it comes with all of the integrations and whatnot. And then the yearly plan is $12.50 a month, which is pretty solid. I'd say for an app that's like an all in one solution, you know, this is less expensive than Sansama, but more expensive than other options. So it's something that aggregates other data tools. So you do got to think about whether the productivity apps overall, um, you know, costing you like 20 bucks a month, that is something to consider. But if we look at the other part of this, which is good, is if you are a student, this is discounted for you as well. All right, so if we look into this stuff, first and foremost, when we got integrations, I want to talk you guys through the way that you can set up integrations. So if we go into the settings, if we go to the bottom left here, as you can see, it's right here. There are a bunch of different integrations, which I've already added Google Calendar, Notion, and Gmail. So first and foremost, the Google Calendar one's pretty simple. All you got to do is go to and I actually will disconnect mine really quick. So if we go to Google Calendar right here, it's a connect button right here, and it's the usual, you know, see and download, allow those different things if you want. It lets you know that there's a Google Calendar connected, and this is a nice pop-up that you'll see later, which I really am a fan of. So as you can see, when I go back into the integrations, the Google Calendar is right in here. And what's nice is you can also add different things like Todoist and whatnot. And I'm just a fan at the fact that it has so many different integrations. Uh, I think personally, when when you don't have a lot of integrations and in something that's you know pitching to be something that aggregates stuff, it's hard. You know, Sansama didn't have a Notion integration, but this one does. If we if we look at this really quick. Uh, you can see that it has my to-dos for the day. I had to do some uh, finish edits and B-roll and screen recordings and get rid of 24 items for my 30-day minimalism game challenge. And this is stuff that's accurate for today. As you can see, there's a bunch of different things here where if I have things favorited uh, or marked as important, this is going to showcase from the Gmail integration, which I really like. I think it's a, I'm a big fan of the fact that, you know, in the inbox, it, it understands that if it's important in my email, it's gonna show up here. And having these different things is nice. You know, there's obviously a bunch of different integrations that showcase how great this app is. If I went into Todoist, connected this guy, showcases that it's connecting in the top right, which is, I just really like this pop-up. It gives you a nice little audio cue as well. So then if we go back here, it shows connected, and then it can connect any of the tasks that would exist in your Todoist. And as you can see, there's a bunch of old stuff here, which obviously I, <laughs> it's a bunch of examples I use for Todoist in videos. So you can take any of these and, you know, if we assign this to, uh, we put, we can snooze this, uh, we can open this obviously and uh, plan for today. So we get to today, it pops that guy in there. And what's actually really cool is if you noticed, it actually inherited the priorities that came from Todoist, which kind of impressive, not going to lie. And then if you go into the today area, we can obviously set different priorities here. Well, you can drag things in certain orders in the task management. And you obviously see in the calendar, there's like the multiple different day views here, which is cool. Uh, what's nice is you can set priority in here. So if we do this and set high priority and it'll show here on the right in this little flag. So I could obviously take this add a priority here, low priority, and it gives you an idea of which one's which. The color scheme here, from what I can tell, is red, yellow, green, and then gray. And it's nice to have those different priorities so you understand what's going on. You can also add a duration to showcase what the different uh, times you think things will take, as well as add nice descriptions and labels as well. 
Uh, so if we then go into a nice system that they can have here, you can add labels and folders. So if we want to do something here, so we can put uh, just side hustle, right? So we take these, and then if we go to our inbox, uh, we can see we can assign labels here. So this is obviously something that's a side hustle label. And then this one is also a side hustle label. So we check this guy off. It's similar to like how channels worked in Sunsama, that you can actually take the different parts of this and see what you have regarding the different labels that exist. And obviously there's a folder system as well. So if you want to do something like housekeeping. So the folder system here is nice for organization as well. So a feature I really like for this product as well is if you press control Y, you can actually go to the bottom right of your screen and see that there is an upcoming view of everything going on. Now, obviously I'm in the app, but if I go out of the app, press control Y, I can see what my upcoming events are on my calendar. And that's really nice and convenient. So you don't have to like go through here and just like look through everything. And that's something that a lot of different things don't have. I will say just quick aside is the fact that this product has a lot of different keyboard commands that I personally think work really well. Another great thing you can do that kind of emulates and showcases what the different nice parts about this uh, keyboard shortcut sense of AccuFlow is that if you're anywhere, right, you can actually press Alt Space and it'll bring up this uh, natural language processing uh, task bar that it's called a comment bar for them. And I really like it. You can add labels here. Uh, you can do something like this. I want to cook pasta at 3 p.m. tomorrow. And it can add a new task or an events. If I press this guy, press enter. Go to OculiFlow, task created successfully. You can view that. And right there, you can see how it does that. And, and, and as you just saw on the screen, if I have anything coming up, uh, it'll actually give me a little buzz on the top right showing, hey, you have a meeting coming up, which that's just, that's just great. I, I love something like that that can add this. You can add labels here as I showed earlier. And if you're in Chrome, for example, you can copy any text and press Alt Space. So if I do this, join ActiFlow, right? Do Control C, then Alt Space. It'll take the text that I had right here and it'll put it right here so I can press this and it'll capture it and it made it a task immediately. Now another great functionality of AccuFlow is if you press A, you can see the different availability that you have. So as you can see here, there are the different time zone changes that could be made by pressing Z. So you can change your time zone to, what is your different time zone here? So I'm gonna do central standard time. Yep, I'm an American who is in Central Standard Time. And then as you can see here, you can take something like this and give people your availabilities. Actually, when I had a call with the people of AkiFlow, they showed, or they, they sent me an email using this. So if we take this, right, we can copy this and it'll go through and look at what the time is, what time zone you're in, and you can ask somebody, like, would any of these times work for you? And as I could see, if I go and pop it into a new email really quick, but just paste this, would any of these times work for you? So you basically went in here, if I press another time slot here that works, for example, then we have different slots that you can choose from. So then when I copy this, what times work? You know, Calendly's great and everything, but this is pretty cool too, I'm not gonna lie. Once again, if you want to sign up for AccuFlow right now, you can go to accuflow.com slash Dimitri Panici. It will be my affiliate link that will help support this channel and AccuFlow. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.